Karaoke heaven here at Uni Top, here at Uni Top for all your karaoke needs. Ooh, hey everybody, long time no see. It's Ned over my Philippine dreams with the family. And we got a rare treat for you today. This is the new Uni Top here in Dumaguete City. Hello, little girl, come with us. Now, if you've been in Dumaguete, you'll know the old Uni Top location. It used to be right across from the old McDonald's, but it's gone now. Well, the old McDonald's is. The old Uni Top is still there. And it's absolutely a harrowing experience for a foreigner. If you're a large person, if you're rotund, if you're a bit tamboke, it can be a little bit of a challenge navigating the narrow crevices, the crevasses that form the quarters, the aisles, I should say, of the old Unisaw. This place, however, is brand new. It's huge, it's fantastic, the staff is super helpful. And uh, the aisles are extremely, extremely wide. This is like being in the US and going to a Costco or something. And if you like ch cheap Chinese stuff, and if you're in the Philippines, you have no choice but to like cheap Chinese stuff. Uh, real quick, this is all stuff that's broken chipped damaged they call it melamine per kilo they sell it by the kilo it's a little damaged it's a little chip but it still works right now we're trying to go to the new there's a uh, kids playground so we're trying to get to that right now it's up on the third floor but a little later i'll come back and we'll do a little tour of uh there goes there goes my youngest child little tour of the new uni top and of course it's uh, they started selling Christmas stuff in September there's all kinds of storage I mean there's so much good stuff here we'll come back and check it out a little bit later and here's the second floor and they got all kinds of clothing chinelas footwear women's lingerie they got suits if you want want to wear a suit in the Philippines uh, they're, they're cleaning the air conditioner right here I recognize that from cleaning our air conditioner. Yeah, this is quite an extensive establishment. And you can just see how big this place is. I mean, compare, this is no, and they still have the old Unitop open. I don't know why, maybe because of it's, it's got a good location, I'm sure whoever owns Unitop owns the building, they're not leasing it. So maybe they'll renovate it at some point, or not. Seems to have worked its magic for as long as it has already. And there's the new playground. And that is our destination right now. Uh, this is the third floor. We got some furnitures up here. Some mirrors. Uh, they have, I call this Filipino sized furniture. This is very, very small furniture. It's not very comfortable. What do you think, Zoe? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. You liking this? Yeah. Continuing our tour of the furniture section. Yes, it's pretty much all particle board, or as we like to refer to it in the United States, fall of particle board. They got big beds here and all that stuff. They want 15,000 pesos. Uh, they got dressers, armoires. Over here, they have tables, dining sets. In the corner, far corner over there, they got some bunk beds that are actually quite useful. Uh, when it comes to furniture in the Philippines, you can actually have handmade hemelina, mahogany furniture made really cheap, quite sturdy. I think we, we spent on our king size frames made of hemelina, weighs about 6,000 pounds. I think we, we paid about 10,000 pesos, which is about $185. These are very small. 
very small. Uh, on, the, on the flip side, you see those bunk beds over there. Those are quite useful. I'm sure you can get those made out of hemolina too, but it will probably weigh about 12,000 pounds. So at some point, they have a full-size mattress on the bottom and a twin size on the top. At some point, we're gonna get one of those for ourselves, for the kids. Here's the foam mattresses. When I first came to the Philippines, I was scared to death because I, I was always used to box springs and giant thick mattresses, but these foam mattresses are fine. I like firm ones because I have a bad back. Let's continue on our tour of the third floor of the new Unitop. Um, I think we're coming into bath and linen section. Here's a quick tip. You don't want to be bringing those big, thick, luxurious towels from wherever your home country is. These small towels, these thin towels, these Chinese towels are actually much pre preferable to the big, thick, luxurious terry cloth ones because they dry much easier. You don't want thick things. It's going to take a long time to dry. It's hot, it's humid, so you want thin bath towels. Hey, it's me, Ned, with my Philippine dreams. I'm helping you out here. Uh, the, uh, these, are called these are called beach mats. These are useful. You're going down to a beach, you need to put a mat down. These fold out. We have one of these. Very useful. Comforters. You don't need comforters in the Philippines. You got an assortment of, looks like Christmas themed pillows over here. And other pillows. Bandanas. Face cloths. I'm actually going to come back up here and get something. They also got tents. Here at Unitop, if you get tired, you want to take a nap, just pull yourself up a mattress in one of these nice tents. All right, let's go downstairs. And once again, I am chewing gum while doing a video. Woo! Second floor of Unitop is all clothing. This is the padded bra section. Over here, they have an extensive collection of women's shoes. Handbags are over there. Uh, knockoffs. We'll go through the panty section real quick. Uh, belts are over here. When you come to the Philippines, you, if you're heavy, like I am, well, I was, well, I still am, you're gonna lose some weight, so you might need a new belt. They get all kinds of women. Thank God I was born a guy, man. It's so much simpler living life in cargo shorts and a t-shirt. Uh, men's clothing section is very small. It's over there against the far wall. All the rest of this is women's stuff. Got hats, you need hats. It's important to have sun protection. Uh, I gotta go back to the United States again for more cancer treatments on my head. Things to look forward to. Huh, okay, we're not gonna be able to get up that way. We're gonna have to go a different way. Body magic. Also, if you're a foreigner and you're a large person, and you need to get cargo shorts or any type of pants or anything like that, your best bet is to go to an Ukai Ukai store. That's where they bring over the used Canadian, American, usually from Goodwill clothing, and they resell it here for just about the same price that they sell it at Goodwill. Also shirts, if you're a big guy, a lot of the shirts here are not gonna fit you. So go to Ukai Ukai. Also, Amazon is delivering, and they deliver t-shirts, so get on Amazon. Uh, anything over $49 in total is free shipping. Can't beat that. All right, we're back down the first floor. Let's go check out a few things that are pretty important to have, and I'm not saying Christmas trees. All right, here in the Philippines, it's quite hot. It's quite humid, so you got to have fans. They have quite a few fans for about $60. Ooh, that's expensive expensive they also have washing machines i personally it's like 170 pesos to drop off eight kilos of laundry get it washed dried and fold but if you have to have your own washing machine i guess you can get one of these although electricity is pretty expensive here this astron right here is about 400 dollars 
Over there, I got toilets, because you know, never know when you're gonna break a toilet. Hanabishi is a big popular name here in the Philippines. I like Hanabishi fans. I don't know if I'd buy a Hanabishi refrigerator. Let's talk about the three different types. I call them the three tiers of Chinese products that are available to the consumer. Tier one, tier two, and tier three. The easiest way to think of it is tier one is Honda. Tier one is Kawasaki. Tier two is Kimco. That is the, I think it's a Taiwanese based motor, motor scooter company. They still use carburetors, but they're better than tier three. Tier three, let's call them like Motorstar. Let's call them Rusi. Here at Unitop and at most of the Chinese places around the Philippines, you're gonna get a lot of tier three stuff. It'll work for a while and then it'll probably break, crack, shatter, explode. I actually yeah, had a fan explode on me one time. Exploding plastic blades flying through the air is not a pleasant experience. So Unitop has a lot of tier three stuff, but the good thing about it is it's cheap. So if you have say a hot pot for boiling water and it breaks, you can just buy another one cheap. Also, this is a great place to get simple things like rope, cord, they got PVC piping, they got sinks. None of that is stainless steel. None of the things are stainless steel. It will rust out after a while.